My name is Auntie Thelma and I'm going to read you a story created by Children on Tobago for the NGC Children's Bocas Lit Fest Storytelling Caravan. This story is about a turtle. It's called The Adventures of the Baby Turtle. There once was a baby turtle named Michael. Even though he was only five months old, he already had a very exciting life. It was a hot sunny morning when he first came out of his turtle nest in the sand. Michael knew that he had to push his tiny young fins against the heavy damp sand and make his way to the sea. He could hear the waves rolling onto the beach and he could smell the sea foam. He turned his body around in the direction of the sound and the smell. There were dogs on the beach. They loved to eat baby turtles like Michael. When they saw him moving in the sand, they came running towards him, panting with their long tongues hanging out, going up and down between their sharp white teeth. Michael saw the dogs coming and knew he was in danger. He stopped moving at once. He stayed absolutely still, pretending to be a stone. He hoped the dogs would leave him alone. The dogs came up to him, sniffing him. He smelt like salt water. They poked him with their wet noses. Their breath was hot on his cold shell, which was not yet very hard. Soon they were gone. And when he was sure they were far away, he slowly started to move towards the sea again. It seemed such a long way away. In just a moment, he was in danger again. This time, a huge hungry corbeau swooped down to pick him up in his beak. The corbeau missed on his first attempt. He flapped his great big black wings and wheeled around in the sky to come back and get Michael. But the baby turtle crawled as fast as he could and reached the sea just in time to escape. He swam for his life, going as deep down into the water as he could. The corbeau flew overhead, angry that Michael had got away. Swimming is much easier than crawling in the sand, Michael thought to himself. He was very glad that he had survived the dogs and the corbeau. A boat passed nearby, filled with tourists taking pictures. Soon he was alone in the water. He felt free, he felt safe, but he was wrong. As he swam along happily close to the surface of the water, he saw a long dark shadow in the distance coming towards him. It was moving fast. He saw the tilt, tall fin of a large fish cutting through the water. It was a shark and he knew that this time he was in real trouble. The shark rushed towards the baby turtle with his jaws wide open. Michael dived and dipped, left and right. The shark laughed. My name is Danger and soon you will be in my belly, baby turtle. The shark tried and tried to scoop Michael up but Michael was too skillful for him. The shark got tired of trying to eat the turtle. This is boring, said the shark, and a waste of time. He swished his huge fat tail and swam away. The baby turtle felt like a champion. He beat the shark. Loser, he shouted, but the shark was too far away to hear him. In his travels, Michael met a group of Trini fish. The colours were red, white and black. He also met clownfish, zebrafish, angelfish, tigerfish, dogfish and lionfish. They were friendly and he felt safe with them, except for the lionfish who kept trying to beat him and eat his tail. There were often fishermen around who put their nets in the water to catch fish, but Michael always escaped. Whenever he saw a shark or a big fish that might eat him come in his way, he would hide himself by pulling his feet inside his shell and pretending to be a stone. He had learned how to protect himself, but he was alone most of the time and he had to swim a long way out to sea to find food. Sometimes the swimming made him feel tired. He ate pink, white and yellow jellyfish. He later got to know that the yellow ones had the most dangerous sting. One day, he met some other turtles. That made Michael very happy. Their names were Johnson, David, Optiman, Sarah, 
Bammy and Bumblebee. They taught him a lot of useful things to keep himself even safer. He learned to be alert and to watch out for plastic bags floating in the sea because they could kill him. Every day he was heading further and further out into the Atlantic Ocean to find food. The water was cooler than the sea near Tobago. There he knew he would meet other dangers such as killer whales. He decided that it was a good idea to swim with the other turtles because they would be much safer swimming in a big group. After some time, Michael and the other turtles became close friends and soon Sarah became his special friend. They liked each other very much and when they grew up, they got married. Many years passed. One day, Michael got caught in a fisherman's net. The fisherman took him to Lambeau Beach in Tobago. As soon as they got there, the Coast Guard arrived and told the fisherman that he was not allowed to catch turtles. It was against the law. So the fisherman released Michael. He swam back the long, long way to his turtle family and told them about his experience. He was glad to be back where he belonged safe and sound. Michael and Sarah stayed out of danger from then on and lived a long life happily together forever after. <laughs>